Just a quick reminder before we get into the lesson to download the hands-on lab exercises that accompany this complete CCNA course. I'll include the link in the description. Also remember to subscribe and hit the notifications bell so you don't miss any of the lessons in the course. Okay, let's get into it. Okay, we can also write the subnet mask in slash notation. 255.255.255.0 is writing it in decimal notation. For the example here, 255.255.255.0, we can write that out the subnet mask, and you see there is the line between the network portion and the host portion. And as we covered earlier, it's always contiguous ones and then followed by a block of contiguous zeros. Because it's contiguous, we can count how many ones that we have in a row. So the example here, we have got 24 ones in a row. I know that each of these blocks is an octet, they each equal 8. So that's 8, 16, 24. So 255.255.255.0, we can write it like that in decimal notation. Another way we can write it is slash 24. Those two things both mean exactly the same thing. If we had 255.255.0.0 as a subnet mask, we could write that as slash 16 and so on. And whenever you configure a Cisco router or switch on iOS, when you configure the IP address in the subnet mask, you have to write the subnet mask out in the full dotted decimal notation. But whenever we're having a conversation with somebody, or if we are creating a network diagram, more commonly we will use slash notation because it's not much fun to be saying 255.255.255.0 all the time. It's much easier to say slash 24. Also, slash 24 takes up much less space on your network diagrams, so you can have your diagrams looking a lot neater and tidier. Okay, there was the, the network portion for a slash 24 highlighted. Let's look at another example coming up. Again, we're looking at the slash 24 there. So the other example is for IP address 10.10.10.15 slash 255.0.0.0. And hopefully you can just, by looking at this, you're going to see that that's going to be a slash 8. The more you get used to working with IP addresses and subnet, you'll very quickly be able to see where the lines are by just looking at the actual address and mask. For the example there, it, the IP address can be written as 10.10.10.15 space 255.0.0.0 or 10.10.10.15 slash 8. We're writing it out in full with the subnet mask. An example here, the network address is 10.0.0.0 slash 8. I've put this in bold to highlight it because the network address is not 10.10.10.0 slash 8. When we write this out, it's just the network portion of the address that we specify. So it's a slash 8, so it's only the first octet, which is the network portion, so that is the 10. All the rest of the address, the last three octets, is the host portion. So when we write this address, it would be 10.0.0.0 slash 8. And the available addresses would be 10.0.0.1 for our first host. The last host would be 10.255.255.254. We can't use 10.255.255.255 because that would be the broadcast address. And 10.0.0.0 is the network address. Okay, that was everything I needed to tell you about the subnet mask for now, but we'll be covering it in more and more detail as we go through the rest of this section. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to get the complete course ad free right now, then you can enroll in my CCNA Gold Bootcamp by clicking the link above my head or in the description. It also includes full study notes, quizzes, and 150 pages of additional troubleshooting labs you can't find anywhere else.